So, we, we haven't got a lot of time, given all the things we've got to talk about, so I want to move straight into Aretha Franklin. Mm-hmm. Um, <coughs> because she has got a CD coming out next week. Right. And on Tuesday, on the We Not Know show, which is between 12 and 2, mm-hmm. we're going to speculate. There may I be shouldn't n- do that, it's bad for your health. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we're going to use the best information available. Okay. <laughs> um... Because there's various tracks which are assumed to be on this CD. It's, it's basically covers. There, there is a concept, which is that other uh, diva singers have done the songs already. Mm-hmm. So that's the concept. Right. But she's, al- she's always doing cover versions. Yes. They're normally um, very good. They're normally improve in some way, mm-hmm. you might think. But it also seems to me that she's trying to get out of the 80s. Now, I know you do an 80s show... Mm-hmm. And you wouldn't want to get out of the 80s. Well, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody was going to invite me out of it, I'll come out any day. <laughs> well, so in other words, if there were songs that were released in the 90s or producers that emerged in this century even, you'd consider it? I have done, many times. But the 80s was an era to me when it was uh, safe to play on the radio, she was saying. Right, anything that you wanted to play in a disco, you could also play on the radio. You can, you could do, yes. Well, that's quite a benefit, isn't it? Yes. So that's why you can get away with anything <laughs> from the 80s. Well, that's something to consider. Mm-hmm. Um, well, look, let's, what, what, what I'd like you to do is think about a couple of, couple of questions, because she's, well, she's associated mostly with the 60s and 70s, I would say, but she did have quite a few hits in the 80s, mm-hmm. and one or two in the 90s. Mm-hmm. And I think, from what we know of the choice of songs, some of them go back, but a lot of them are either from the 80s or more recently. And so, and also the, the production, I think, is going to be uh, Babyface and uh, Andre 3000, who is part of Outcast. So Outcast is maybe 90s, I think. They're gar- I mean, they're continuing. They're, they're still in this century as well. But um, anyway, I'm going to play you an, uh, what, what I think is an 80s track, and you can say whether this is typical 80s or uh, whether there's another, another track that you might, um, you might, might remember of, from Aretha in that, at that time. So this, this, this one is called Another Night. 